Okay. All right, what's going on, YouTube? Hat here. Today we're going to talk about D-Clone and uh, finding him, or hunting the D-Clone, if you will. Uh, this is going to be a very in-depth guide because I put a few guides out in the past, and there's been some changes to how it's done, and this is just, this is how the pros do it. This is how we do it, uh, and you're going to want to know this uh, to be prepared for when a walk happens because the earlier you start hunting in the walk, the better chance you have of finding the correct IP, which we'll explain. Um, and once you have that IP, you are in, you're going to get the clone to spawn in that game, and you're going to get your Annihilus uh, Small Charm. So stay tuned, and we'll get right into it. Let's do it. All right, so the first thing I want to go over is the how it works, right? All right, so each game has their own IP address when you join a game. So when you create a game, that game is created, um, and there's an IP address associated with it. That IP address is assigned at random, um, and there's probably like over 300 different IP addresses you could get. Um, and other people can still get the same IP address, but it's random, right? And so step one is a, a group is going to announce, hey, we're going to walk on this IP address. Now, that may be a Discord group. You may have paid two SOJs to find out what that IP address is. So they tell you. And then they usually give you uh, about five hours to find that IP address. Um, and then once you're in that IP address of a game, you'll have to leave games and keep joining until you get that exact match. And then once you're in, um, you just wait there because once they start selling, it will show up in that game. You'll start seeing the SOJ sales and then Diablo walks the earth and everything. Step two is going to be to set blocks for IP addresses that are unrelated to that IP address. And I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so let's say, for example, we find out that this is the IP address. It's uh, on an EU server, as opposed to Americas or Asia, um, which you will have to go when you open your battle.net launcher. There'll be a little, oh no, yeah, there'll be a little icon that says, uh, you know, what region, and you'll have to choose that, right? Um, with each server, there is that first number uh, is based on the server, right? Um, so EU has like three different numbers they put there. One is I think 35, one is 30, one is 34, and the other one is 37. Um, that is what we're blocking, is that whole first section, and that blocks everything else, so that we'll only get 37 in this case. Uh, let me show you what I mean. So the first step in blocking an IP address is to open your Windows Defender Firewall. Um, you can search Firewall at, in your Windows search bar at the bottom, right? Um, it should show up right there. You're going to go to Advanced Settings, and that's going to open up a new window. And you're going to go to outbound rules and you're going to create a new rule so the first thing you're going to do when you click on new rule is go to custom It'll find your diablo 2 program uh, where it is mine is c program files 86 diablo 2 resurrected and then in there d2r is what we select we click open uh, then we go next uh, to which ports is rule apply we just click next and then we want to which do we so this is local IPs and this is remote, remote meeting outside of our own computer. So we are uh, going here, clicking on these, clicking on add, and we want to do an IP range. Um, if you don't know anything about IP addresses and how they work, it's like you have the number 1000 and you know the one for 1000 can be one to 10. The next zero can be zero to or zero to nine. And the next number can be zero to nine. IP is the same way, except it's. 1 to 20, 225, 1 to 225, 1 to 225, and it's separated by periods, right? So in this case, um, EU servers have 34 and 35 is that first number. And that's the, the high number, if that makes sense. So to block that uh, for 34, all right, so to block this, we will do 34 point one point one point one, um, and it's going to go all the way to 34.225.225.225. That'll cover everything for you, but we got 35 as well. So in this specific case, so normally, just to block 34s, we would do 34.225. I'm sorry, 255. 255.255.255. And then we would never get a 34 IP address at all, which is great. It's going to really narrow it down and make it easy for us. And then we would save it and do another one for 35, right? Um, so let's do that. So we'll hit OK. And then right here, you'll see we'll add another one. The range. 
and 35.25 uh, for 0.1. There's a start 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. That's going to 35.225. Sorry, 255. 0.255.255. And now we're going to hit, and that's going to block 32. <laughs> That's going to block 34s and it's going to block 35s. Now, the only other, e each region, Asia, US, whatever, has about three different ones. Uh, I know EU has 34, 35, and 37. So that should leave us with 37, which is what we need to be hitting all the time because that is the number up there 37.244.11, yada, yada, yada. So we're going to hit next. Block the connection is what we're doing. Hit next. Um, yeah, all that can be checked. It's fine. Next. You can name it uh, D2R block test is what I'm going to name it because I already have one set up. So what that leaves us with is this D2R block test at the top here. This X next to it or this kind of cancel sign next to it means that it's enabled. Um, and we want to edit it. We can go to properties and we can see the scope of what's being blocked. And that's what we have right there. We can add and edit it there. We don't have to make a new one every time we do this. We can change this right here and be done with it. Um, we can also, you need to, if you go to play regularly after you're done hunting, you need to disable it. So you can just disable it and then you'll be able to play just like normal. Um, and then when you have to do it again, you'll have to get the block correct to get the IP that you want, um, and re-enable it, right? Now, I don't know which servers start with which numbers. I know EU just because we do it a lot. Um, I don't know the other ones. What, if you need to know what to block, what I would do is just start making games and test it. Um, to see the IP address that you are entering, you will need a program called TCP Viewer. This program will monitor the IP addresses that you are using in game. When you have your TCP Viewer open, you will need to type in D2R here, because if you don't, there will be a whole bunch of stuff there. So we want to type in D2R, and that is going to show just the D2R related um, IP traffic and right here let me go ahead and start a game let's say we're looking for this IP address we blocked everything so uh, and then, by the way once you block it make sure you close out of this and relaunch Diablo 2 if you do it in the middle of Diablo 2 being open you're gonna have a problem um, so we'll go ahead and just join a random game you want to actually create your games that way if you need help killing or if you get DC you can get back in um, so you're actually making name with a password. Um, you're gonna, it's gotta be hell as well. And we're gonna create. Now, as soon as we create, you see right here in green, it's 37. So we got 37, 224, It's usually towards the top. You can help that by hitting creation time with the arrow pointing down. In that case, it was not towards the top, but 37. Like I said, it can only be 24. A lot of people get confused on this. So I wanna make sure it can only be 34, which we blocked, but you want to make sure it's not there anyway. 34, 35, or 37, specifically. Um, this one was 37, and it's 28, 180. Now, it's always going to be usually 224, 244 is always going to be the next number. And then the second to last number usually is between two different numbers. Unfortunately, there's no way to... Um, if, you, if you start blocking things beyond just, the, just what we went over blocking, you'll start getting failed to join games. And that will take longer for you to find the game because it ends up blo locking you out for about two minutes. Anyways, this is not the game we want. This is 228180. So what do we do? We leave. All right, so we created our custom game. You can see right here at the top, 37.244.48.60. That is not what we're looking for. So we didn't get the game. Right away, we know. Um, it's usually right at the top. Sometimes it might be like second or so, um, but it's the most recent one. It turned green, um, and you'll get a better feel for it the more you do it. Um, but we're going to leave. It's going to turn red as soon as we leave the game. And now we go ahead and create a new game. As you can see, we got 37, 244, 1159. Not it. Close. But not it. So we have to leave again. Kill your thing. And it's going to do. It's going to take a while. Sometimes it takes about, I'd say on average, about an hour or so. Um, they give you about five hours to do it. It's a pain. Um, but it's just how it goes. And so we keep doing that until it matches exactly in the remote IP address. It needs to match what has been announced 
Exactly. Once we are in the correct game, and this says 11.105, we stay and we wait. It's boring to wait, right? Especially if you find one early. It's both a blessing and a curse. Um, what I would recommend doing is you can kill stuff, you know, MF if you need to. But understand that there's these things called super unique monsters, which are semi-bosses. Monsters that are always going to be there. Things like Rakanishi, who's always here, right? Um, those types of monsters... If the, once Diablo walks the earth, which it will say in the little message bar right down here, once Diablo walks the earth, when you enter your very next area at that point, or if you're already in the area, whatever closest to you super unique monster will, will disappear, even not on, even off screen, like far away from you, is going to disappear, and the uber clone, the uber Diablo, is going to take his place. So, don't kill all of these monsters, you know... You can kill bosses and whatnot. Just make sure you have an idea of which one you want to be the Diablo clone. And once you start seeing SOJ sell, sell, make sure you're staying in town because you don't want the clone to spawn while you're out and about and not know which monster he spawned on or replaced. Does that make sense? So start saying selling. You know they're selling. They're starting. Uh, at that point, wait in town, right? Once it'll say Diablo walks the earth and your whole screen's gonna shake. Uh, you want to, at that point, he spawn. He's ready to go. So I always choose this one, Rigid Highlands, um, because there's a super unique monster here that is always here, which is uh, Eltrich. And I let him be my Diablo clone. So when I come up here, declone every time. Um, then we kill him. And if you need help killing him, if you're in my stream, uh, definitely message me. We'll kill him for you. Let you keep your Annie. No big deal. Um, I think that's it. I, th I think that's it. Um, some some pointers or, or t helps. I, you know, if you, like I said, if you don't know what to block, you can just start joining games. And when you see this first number be something different than what you want, then you know to go to the blocker and add that number and everything. Anytime you do an update to your blocker, you have to close out Diablo two and reopen it from the um, from the Blizzard launcher. So don't forget that. And then also, if it's still not working at all completely, the blocker, and you're still getting 34s and whatnot, even though you shouldn't be, you should be only getting 37s in this example, um, something else is taking over your... Something else is using your firewall. Whether it's a virus protection, whether you have a VPN enabled, something like that is happening. It could be even your settings within your router. Um, so keep in mind that I can't help with that technicality. But that could be it, and that's where you want to look first if you're having issues and the block's not working. Uh, that should be everything. I hope it wasn't too lengthy of a video. There is a public walk going on at the end of this week, so I want to make sure I get this out so you guys are ready for it because the more ready you are, the better chance you have. Because once they announce that IP, uh, these IPs are limited to how many players can fit in each one so or how many games can be created in, for each one. And so the longer time passes means the more other people have found the games, which means... This random generator that gives you these IPs are going to start giving you more of the other ones and not this one. So you want to get in there early, which is why you want to make sure that you understand this video. Maybe even practice it a little bit at a time. Just make a random IP up. Change that one. Go try this one. Try to look for 105 a little bit. You don't have to find it. But just to get a good idea that you're hitting 37s every time, you know, um, and all the programs and everything's working. And then you know you're ready. And, um, and yeah. Uh, let me know below if you get some annies with this. Uh, our Discord, my Discord is listed down below. So if you have any issues about walks, uh, questions, frequently asked questions, it's all there in the declone section, including upcoming walks where you can actually buy in. Uh, it usually takes one or two SOJs to buy in, but you'll be able to get that IP in that early, you know, five hour time frame with everyone else. Um, my camera's getting real glitchy and it's pissing me off. So I'm going to let you guys go here. <laughs> uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if it's helpful. And subscribe for more helpful information. And make sure you follow us down below with our socials so that you can get involved in this kind of stuff. Uh, much love, everyone. Have a good rest of your day. Peace, peace.